Hello everyone and welcome to Piano Val. This is Emma Newman. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how imagination and singing affect our piano playing and helps overcome some technical problems that cannot be solved by traditional way of practicing. Flexible wrist. Flexible wrist is necessary to play with loose hands and also it helps to reach beautiful melodic uh, singing tone of the piano. Uh, it also benefits your good piano technique because you will have no effort to play evenly in fast tempos with flexible wrist and relaxed hands. needs to play something faster with a good quality tone he will naturally again start straining his wrist or the wrist gets stiff again moreover students sometimes really have no clue how it feels a good healthy tension wrist <laughs> and maybe sometimes they heard about this rotation movement but again because they didn't get full information from teachers uh, about elbow movement that needs to be used to prepare a new position to avoid unhealthy twisting of wrist again this knowledge wouldn't help much <laughs> by the way if you want to know about that secret elbow movement you can click here to this second part of this video uh, so for now i just come back to the wrist thing so we develop this flexible wrist by moving it according to the melody pattern in the score. What I mean is if the note is written higher than previous note, then the movement of this note will be to the right. If the note is lower than to the left, so here, for example, I would play this, right, and this. Now, what is very important to know? And I've said that so many times before. We can make um, correct movements, you know, like, yeah, move wrist right, move wrist left or right. But we can never control sensation that is going on inside the muscles of our hands. And we can make the same movements and feel absolutely differently inside. So this is the thing that teachers never teach us, unfortunately. That's okay. It's gonna be changed soon. So what we need to understand, if we just move the wrist without any sound imagination, then the wrist would still be dead inside. It wouldn't be alive. And because it's still dead by energy inside, that's why it would start accumulating energy, I mean unhealthy energy, tension, again and again. So we only can bring this wrist back to life by sound movement imagination, by sound movement idea. So what is sound movement idea? Sound movement idea is when you imagine the sound and you direct uh, its flow straight to the right or to the left. So uh, if I imagine and sing notes for you that would be left, and right, this is exactly what we need to imagine in our head when we use uh, vocal voice or any cellos or violins instruments. And why would consider then uh, that if something um, affects our imagination, that would also affect our playing? 
It's because the energy of a measured sound directly flows, directly affects the uh, energy level in our wrist. So this is how we control uh, sensations in our wrist by our imagination. So let's see how imagination works in playing. So one more time. If I bring my relaxed hand to the keyboard, uh, with gently with fingertips attach the key, and then I move my wrist according to the melody pattern, and then um, I would feel, for example, the sound, and I would hear it in my head, and the wrist would start singing. So it's singing while playing. <laughs> so that's why it's alive and there is no tension, there is no dead tension in it. Now if we want to imagine two notes, then we have to imagine it with glissando. We would sing the same way we would imagine it and we would play it while imagining. Again, make sure that when you do this movement, your elbow always stays in place. Because you don't want to make this movement with elbow, because in this case, wrist wouldn't work, you know? We need to make sure that wrist is singing, not elbow. <laughs> we talk about how your wrist follows, your, follows the melody pattern the note pattern and over here it goes right left right left left now over here so you see how it goes do it it's really helpful when you play very fast of course these movements are going to be very very small but this is exactly something that helps your wrist to breathe while playing so it wouldn't be like stiff then you know your fingers cannot move and it doesn't really sound nice um, what i would suggest is just imagine the right hand and the beautiful uh strings like violins and make it again with movement left right and still even though there's just like minor second between notes but still try to make glissando between them and follow your wrist this pattern and then when you start playing it with intonation you just bring even more freedom and here we go <laughs> so the main point don't play like this ah, I already cannot play anything <laughs> That's it, it's that simple. In my next video, uh, part two, I'm gonna give you a small tip how elbow movement improves flexibility in your wrist, how again it helps your wrist be free and singing and how to maintain and how to sustain uh, relaxation in your hands. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye.